You know, we talk a lot about student loans, but there's another college debt crisis, the colleges themselves. Moody's estimates that one in five small private colleges are now under financial stress. And when all is said and done this year, as many as 15 schools could close down altogether. Scott Cohn is at one school in Ohio that is trying to buck the trend. Hi, Scott. Hi, Tyler. We're at Hiram College, uh, about 40 miles outside of Cleveland, about a thousand or so students. And they say they are in OK shape, but they know about the challenges, which basically involve demographics. There are fewer students graduating high school. That puts pressure on tuition. There isn't the kind of pricing power there once was. And oh, yeah, liberal arts education not exactly in vogue these days. So their answer here, try and change the very definition of liberal arts. How's the team look coming up? When Lori Varlotta took over as okay. president of Hiram College five years ago, she knew the school, founded in 1850, needed some updating. I knew that small colleges like Hiram um, need to be um, thinking about change. But there was something even more pressing. The college had $25 million in debt up for refinancing, and lenders were not exactly enthused about small liberal arts colleges. Varlotta's solution, a top-to-bottom makeover. We looked at the curriculum, we looked at the graduation requirements, we looked at technology, we looked at the 21st century skill set and mindset that students need to um, demonstrate to employers. They call it the new liberal arts. More emphasis on career skills, including mandatory internships, more technology, new majors like criminal law and sports management. Gone are some old majors like religious studies. Also gone, about 20 percent of the faculty, mostly through attrition. Lenders were satisfied but more important, the college says, so were students. Yadaya Box sees the chance to turn her creative writing major into a career in media. I can't even imagine me at a public school. It's still early, but if the Hiram model works, it may be the exception in a deeply troubled industry where double-digit closings per year could be the new normal. It's here to stay. Uh, I, I think we th see the higher education sector as a uh, in a period of, of real transformation in terms of how students learn, where they learn. The trend is most severe here in the Midwest and in the Northeast, where those demographics really come to bear. A lot of higher education now is keeping an eye on what they do here at Hiram, thinking it could be a model for this industry before it's too late.